12 Japanese planes bombed a Chinese city. Trivial. The League demanded Japan withdraw her troops. Japan's own vote was the sole dissenting one. Therefore, said Japan, the League's action was illegal. It wasn't unanimous. Secretary of State Stimson was concerned. We had signed the Pact of Paris, which guaranteed China's territorial integrity. We sent an observer to the League. Japan protested, finally consented. The League investigated. Under Admiral Nomura, Japanese forces attacked 15 miles from Shanghai. The same Nomura, who later as Japanese ambassador, talked peace in Washington while his colleagues in Tokyo prepared for war. Japan marched into Shanghai with troops, fifth columnists, quislings, and propaganda, actually anticipating methods used in the conquest of Europe. Japan marched out of Shanghai at the insistence of the League. She signed a truce with China on May 4, 1932. Four months later, Japan moved further into Mongolia, sent her colonizers to follow the army into the conquered territory. And the puppet state of Manchukuo was in full flower. The League branded Japan an aggressor, and Japan resigned, deeply hurt. Japan moved further into China. Pausing only for breath, Japan inflated the Mukden incident into the China incident. It was not war, the Japanese said. 400 million Chinese were caught up in this incident. China was looted and shelled and put to the torch. China was bombed in this incident. Chinese forces united under Generalissimo Chiang Kai-shek were pressed back by the invaders. China moved her armies and her meager war industries far into the interior. The Chinese fought on not so much with weapons as with space and time. 